Tiếng Wow so I've lived in Japan on and off for about eight years. I've lived in Nagoya, I've lived in Hokkaido, and I've lived in Chiba. And I moved into this apartment about eight months ago. Now the location is really good. It's right at Chiba Station. It's in the shopping district. So attention stalkers, now you know where to find me. So in my eight years of living in Japan, I've lived in 10 different apartments. And in all those other nine apartments that I've lived in, I've had no problems. The building has been very nice and clean, good repair, good order. All the tenants are really friendly. The management is friendly the landlord if there is any kind of problem it gets dealt with really quickly so when I came to this apartment I expected to have no problems I went through a company the biggest company in Japan for apartment rentals called Apaman shop and I told them the budget I was looking for the location I was looking for I told them that I had pets and they searched it out and they made sure they found me an apartment so the contract part was actually really easy the owner was okay with everything I was okay with everything I paid all my deposits I got all my signatures and you need a guarantor in Japan so I got that done and uh, one thing about Japanese apartments um, is the walls are very thin so you can usually hear everything that's going on on either side of you but my neighbor seemed pretty quiet so it's pretty cool I think I slept really well until about 2 in the morning when I heard this <coughs> yeah um whatever I mean I've heard people cough before it was no big deal <coughs> But uh, yeah, this cough was a little bit extreme. I think the guy had a really bad cold. So the next day, I decided to take my dog for a walk because it was the weekend. When I returned, the neighbor on the other side of me, the non-cougher person, was an old lady and she was talking to the delivery man outside her door. I, I rang the bell around 10 a.m. I was here the whole time waiting! S so sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but um, here's your package. Huh? Speak up, I can't hear you! One of my ears don't work! If you just sign here... I'm calling the company you work for and giving you a complaint, okay? Then she saw me... and Maple... and that's when the shit hit the fan. Hello? Who are you? Uh, I moved in yesterday. Uh, my name is Oz. I'm from Canada. And this is my dog, Maple. No pets allowed in the building! I think this building is pets okay, because that's what my real estate agent said. Well, they're not! So get out! Um, but I've signed a two-year contract and I paid all my deposits and everything and everything seems to be okay. The owner said it was okay. Well, I'm the superintendent of this building and I make all the decisions. So he goes! And then about an hour later, I decided I wanted to take a shower and uh, apparently the water had been turned off. And it was already late in the evening and uh, the real estate company was closed and there was nobody I could contact. So I had to go to 7-Eleven and I brushed my teeth, used the toilet, and I got some water for Maple and Kaide. So the next day in the morning, I checked the water was still off, so I called my real estate agent, I told him what happened, and then he came over and he figured out that someone had turned the pipes off in the hallway. The management company that managed this place decided that they weren't making any money and they left and they abandoned the building and so this lady that lives next door to me volunteered to be the superintendent of the building. So after the real estate guy left I went out to shop or walk my dog or I don't remember and when I got back the water was off again. Anyway the next morning I woke up again and the water was off again so I had to go back outside and turn on the water again and this happened I would say three or four times during that week. So I was getting annoyed and frustrated because this had nothing to do with me it wasn't my fault it's not like I didn't inform people that I had pets or anything. So I contacted my one of my students who I do freelance Eikaiwa with, English teaching, and she's a lawyer. This is the conversation she had with the old lady on the phone. My name is Masako, and I'm a lawyer representing Oz. It's come to my attention that uh, you've been turning off the water pipes, and I just wanted to let you know that um, tampering with uh, public facilities and utilities is against the law and it is punishable by a fine and even jail time. Because uh, you are the owner of your specific unit but not the entire building, I'm sorry but each owner can decide whether they have a pet or not. Also, I've done some research and I've found that at least 10 units in that apartment building have pets and I believe you also have two cats, is that correct? Yeah, well, cats are considered animals as well, so they would be under the pet category. If you do require Oz to remove his dog, I, um, the building will have to have remove all pets, including your two cats. Uh, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, thank you. Well, have a nice day.
then I ran into the old lady the next day in the hallway and she was like when I said no pets I meant no dogs cats are okay so she didn't apologize she didn't take any blame but I was hoping that this would be the end of the issue there would be no more problems <sighs> boy was I wrong so one day when I woke up and went to get my bike, it was lying in the middle of the road. I thought it was weird, but I was like, okay, maybe someone was trying to steal it or something. So I picked it up and I put it back in the bike parking. The next day it had been taken out of the parking and put on the street again, but this time with a note saying, you can't park here, this is for only residents and you need a permit. So I called the old lady and this is the conversation that happened. Hi, this is Oz. Um, I have a bike and I need a, a bike permit. Oh. It's 1200 yen a year. Okay, that's fine. I'm sorry, I can't give you a permit. Spaces are limited. But it's just a big space and there's not many bikes there. The, the spaces have been assigned. I'm sure one more bike can fit because more than half the lot is empty. Those places have been designated 30 years ago to people. If you didn't live here 30 years ago, you can't have a bike spot. How is that possible? Because almost half the people in this building are like in their 20s and there's some kids bikes there too. So I'm sure all of these people were not here 30 years ago. I'm not sure about that, but I will let you know when the space opens up, okay? Okay, um, how long will that take? Uh, Yes. Every couple of days, she would knock on my door and she'd tell me something really stupid or mundane that meant nothing to me. And at the same time, every single night from like midnight to like 6 a.m., the guy next to me was having a coughing fit. Like, I don't know if he was having seizures or whatever was going on, but it was like six months. It's still going on. It's, it's been eight months now and he's still coughing every single night. It's like the cough that'll never end. You're from Canada, right? It's beautiful there. You should go back. <clears throat> don't your family miss you? You should go back to Canada. <coughs> <gasps> Summer is very hot in this country. Japan is terrible. I'm sure Canada is much cooler. <laughs> so loud. You're not married, are you? Japanese girls are terrible women, okay? You can't trust them. You should find a nice Canadian girl. <coughs> pick up your dog when you're in the elevator. This neighborhood is watching you, so make sure you pick up your dog poop, okay? <coughs> oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> What's that sound? Don't you be drilling holes in the wall, okay? I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep. Don't leave your door unlocked. The lady from 803 steals. I was actually considering moving out of my apartment when one day a miracle happened. And usually I leave both my dog and my cat in like the living room area and there's like a sliding door I, sh I close. But that day I'd forgot. So they actually got out into the hallway and they were like right inside the entrance to my door. It's called the Genkan, the front entrance. And they were both sitting there and I could hear my dog and my cat kind of barking and meowing. And guess who was standing right outside my door listening to them? Yeah, that crazy old lady. She said, is that a cat that I hear with your dog? So I didn't know what to do, but I couldn't really lie. So I said, yeah, that's my cat, Kaide. And I was expecting like a tongue lashing from her, but instead she said this. Can I see her? Uh, okay. A calico cat? She looks like mine. So beautiful! And her and Maple don't fight? Mm, no, they're actually best friends. Oh, Maple is the best dog I've ever met! All it took was a cat. And then from then on, this is how our, our interactions went. This is for Maple. It's a treat, he will like it. Remember, it's getting cold, so make sure you keep a blanket out for your dog and cat. Maple is so quiet and well-trained. How come he's so smart? Oh, look at Maple. He's so happy when he sees me. He thinks I'm his best friend, doesn't he? And then she never bothered me again about garbage or moving to Canada or whatever, leaving this apartment building or anything. And all thanks to this little girl, right? We're living here because of you. What do you got to say? She's speechless. So I guess the moral of the story is sometimes Japanese people, especially older people, don't know how to interact or don't know how to communicate properly with uh, foreigners especially so sometimes patience 
is required. Over time with more interaction and once they get to know you and they see that you're not this weird crazy alien from another planet but you're just a regular human being, um, things start to work out, usually. And about the coughing guy, <coughs> yeah, he's still doing his thing. But whatever, you know, no place is perfect. So that's the story of my terrible Japanese apartment, which started off terrible, but it's actually gotten pretty good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video and share. Also, leave any comments you want, and if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos, because my videos are awesome. Aussie awesome. Take care. See you next time. Peace.